Section 1. Why is a good introduction like a first impression? Hey, everybody! Today, we're diving into the world of writing and exploring why a good introduction is just as crucial as making a stellar first impression. You know how important first impressions are, right? Whether it's a job interview, a first date, or meeting new friends, that initial moment can set the tone for everything that follows. It's like when you meet someone new, you want to come across as friendly, confident, and interesting. You want to leave a mark that makes them want to know more about you. You want to make a good impression. And the same goes for your writing. Well, guess what? Your essay's introduction is like its first impression. It's the gateway to your thoughts and ideas. The first glimpse your reader gets into your world. It's the first thing your reader sees. Just like a handshake or a smile, it can either draw them in or push them away. And you want them to be hooked. You want them to lean in, eager to hear more about what you have to say. A strong introduction grabs the reader's attention. It's like the opening act of a show, setting the stage for the main event. It makes them want to keep reading. It's the promise of something exciting, something worth their time. It's like the opening act of a show. You wouldn't want to miss the beginning of a great performance, right? You want them excited for what's next. You want them on the edge of their seat, anticipating the brilliance that's about to unfold. A good introduction tells the reader what your essay is about. It gives them a roadmap, a sneak peek into the journey they're about to embark on. It sets the stage for your amazing ideas. It's like giving them a preview of the main attractions, the highlights of your argument. Think of it like this. You wouldn't start a joke with the punchline, would you? No way. The setup is crucial. It builds anticipation and makes the punchline hit harder. You start with a funny setup. The same principle applies to your writing. Your introduction is your setup. Your introduction is your setup. It's the foundation upon which your entire essay stands. It gets the reader ready for the amazing things you're about to say. It primes them for the insights, arguments, and stories that will follow. So take your time crafting that introduction. Make it engaging, make it compelling, and most importantly, make it memorable. Because just like a first impression, a good introduction can make all the difference. Remember, the beginning is just the start of your journey. Make it count, and your readers will be eager to follow you to the end. Happy writing, everyone, and may your introductions always leave a lasting impression. Section 2. How do you grab a reader's attention? So, how do you write an introduction that really pops? You need a good hook. A hook is like a surprise guest on the show. It's something unexpected that grabs everyone's attention. You can start with a surprising fact, or a funny anecdote, maybe a thought-provoking question. The goal is to make the reader curious. You want them to say, tell me more. Keep your introduction concise and engaging. Don't make it too long or complicated. Get to the point and make it sparkle. Remember, you want to entice your reader, not overwhelm them. Section three, but what if my topic isn't that exciting? Hold on a second. Don't tell me your topic isn't exciting. Every topic can be interesting if you present it the right way. It's all about finding the right angle. Think about what makes your topic important. Why should people care about it? Find a way to connect it to something relatable, something that resonates with everyone. For example, let's say you're writing about the history of socks. Sounds boring, right? But what if you started with a question like, have you ever wondered why humans decided to cover their feet? Suddenly it's relatable. Everyone wears socks. You've piqued their curiosity. Section four. Okay, introduction's done. Now what? Great question. You've got a killer introduction. Now it's time to build the rest of your essay. Think of your essay like a delicious sandwich. The introduction and conclusion are the bread. They hold everything together. The body paragraphs are the good stuff. This is where you present your arguments, your evidence, and your brilliant insights. Each body paragraph should focus on one main idea. Just like a good sandwich needs layers of flavor, your essay needs layers of information. Each paragraph should build upon the previous one, and they should all connect back to your main thesis statement. Section 5. How do I structure the body of my essay? This is a crucial part of your writing process, and getting it right can make a significant difference in the clarity and impact of your essay. Organizing your thoughts is key to a strong essay. Before you start writing, take some time to brainstorm and outline your main points. This will help you stay focused and ensure that your essay flows logically from one point to the next. Think of each body paragraph as a mini-essay. 
Each paragraph should focus on a single main idea that supports your thesis statement. This helps to keep your writing clear and concise. It needs a clear topic sentence. This sentence should introduce the main idea of the paragraph and set the stage for the supporting details that will follow. This is like the introduction to your paragraph. It grabs the reader's attention and gives them a preview of what to expect. It tells the reader what the paragraph is about. A strong topic sentence is essential for guiding the reader through your essay. Then, you need supporting sentences. These sentences provide evidence and examples to back up your topic sentence. They should be specific and relevant, helping to build your argument and persuade the reader. These sentences provide evidence and examples to back up your topic sentence. Use quotes, statistics, and other data to support your points and make your argument more convincing. Think of it like building a case. Just as a lawyer presents evidence to support their argument, you need to present evidence to support your claims in your essay. You need evidence to support your claims. Without evidence, your arguments will be weak and unconvincing. Finally, you need a concluding sentence. This sentence should summarize the main point of the paragraph and reinforce your argument. This sentence summarizes the main point of the paragraph. It helps to tie everything together and provides a sense of closure. It also transitions smoothly to the next paragraph. A good transition sentence will help to maintain the flow of your essay and keep the reader engaged. Think of it like a bridge connecting your ideas. Just as a bridge connects two pieces of land, a transition sentence connects two paragraphs, helping to create a cohesive and well-structured essay. Section 6. But what if I have too many ideas? Having lots of ideas is fantastic. It shows that your mind is actively engaging with the topic and exploring various angles. This kind of creative thinking is a valuable skill. It means you're thinking critically about your topic. You're not just accepting the first idea that comes to mind, but you're digging deeper and considering multiple perspectives. But it can also be overwhelming. When you have a flood of ideas, it can be hard to know where to start or how to organize them. If you have too many ideas, don't try to cram them all into one essay. This can make your writing unfocused and difficult to follow. Instead, choose the strongest ideas that directly support your thesis statement. These are the ideas that will make your argument the most compelling. Focus on quality over quantity. It's better to develop a few key points thoroughly than to touch on many points superficially. It's better to have a few well-developed ideas than a bunch of half-baked ones. This way your essay will be more coherent and persuasive. Think of it like planning a party. You want to create an event that is enjoyable and memorable. You can invite everyone you know. You have to be selective and choose the guests who will contribute to the best atmosphere. You have to choose the guests who will create the most fun and engaging atmosphere. The same principle applies to your essay. The same goes for your essay. Select the ideas that will make the biggest impact and support your thesis most effectively. Choose the ideas that will make the biggest impact. By focusing on the most compelling points, you'll create a stronger, more persuasive essay that will leave a lasting impression on your readers. Section 7. How do I wrap this thing up? You're almost there. You've presented your arguments, you've wowed your reader with your insights. Now it's time to bring it all home with a strong conclusion. Your conclusion should summarize your main points. But don't just repeat yourself. Restate your ideas in a new and insightful way. Leave your reader with something to think about. Think of your conclusion as the grand finale of your essay. It's your last chance to make a lasting impression. End with a bang. Leave your reader feeling satisfied and inspired. Section 8. Why is a strong conclusion so important? Your conclusion is the last thing your reader will see. It's what they'll remember most. A weak conclusion can undo all the hard work you put into your essay. A strong conclusion leaves a lasting impression. It shows that you've thought deeply about your topic, and it encourages your reader to continue thinking about it long after they've finished reading. Think of it like the end of a concert. You want the audience to leave feeling energized and excited. You want them to remember the show long after the last note has been played. Section 9. Ready to write your own amazing essay? There you have it. You now have all the tools you need to write an essay that will knock their socks off. Remember, a good essay is like a good conversation, engaging, informative, and thought-provoking. So go out there and write your heart out. And, most importantly, have fun with it. 
because when you're passionate about what you're writing, it shows. Now, I'm curious. What's the most interesting thing you learned about essay writing today? Share your thoughts in the comments.